Hello and welcome back to another one of Paul's beer reviews and today I've got um, a beer from White Hag, Irish Brewers and because we're so close to Christmas now I'm going to be reviewing their Noel which is an eggnog Christmas ale coming in at 6% ABV um, yeah 330 mil can, the artwork I mean pretty simple I've kind of gone for the the colour of eggnog eggnog of course traditional American uh, beverage for Christmas. Loads of spilling on the back of this can, which I'm going to try and read. Uh, it says, Noel was derived from Old French Nail, which describes a song of birth, sung with mirth during Christmas. Eggnog is a rich, chilled, sweetened, dairy-based beverage made with milk, cream, sugar, whipped egg, whites and egg yolks. Throughout Canada and the United States, eggnog is traditionally consumed over the Christmas season from late November until the end of the holiday season. We imagine our Noel Eggnog Christmas Ale will inspire much singing and revelry from our house to yours. That's a very nice description. They've nailed it. Ingredients, water, barley, wheat, lactose, obviously, vanilla, spices, natural flavour and yeast. Um, been very impressed with the White Hag this year. I think they've had a good year. The beers I've had from them, been very impressed with. I personally am a bit of an eggnog fan. Um, I like eggnog coffees. When it comes to this time of the year, if I treat myself and go out for a posh coffee, I try and get an eggnog latte. Um, I love that combination of sort of cream and winter spices and all that. I'm a sucker for anything Christmassy, really. I get very excited about the foods and the tastes and the drinks and things this time of year. Um, oh, wow. Okay. I'll leave it there so we can see it. The White Hag Eggnog Christmas Ale. There she is. Um, looks like a pale ale. It's got uh, just under a one finger, slightly creamy looking white head, as you'd probably expect. Um, Lacing on the glass slightly. Um, but yeah, looks like a pale ale. Let's get my nose in <laughs> and get a proper aroma. That smells very nice, at least to me anyway. It's definitely eggnog. It has a slight Baileys vibe going on with it. Um, if you're not familiar with Baileys, Baileys is like an Irish cream liqueur. Um, it has whiskey in it and cream, dairy, lots of dairy content in it. It's traditionally drunk quite a lot over here at Christmas, funnily enough. So, um, But you're certainly getting the lactose. You're getting a bit of cinnamon. A bit of nutmeg, it, it's creamy, there is a slight, I'm not going to say eggy because that's going to make it sound horrible, but it smells of eggnog. Sugar, egg, without smelling bad, vanilla definitely, slightly boozy aroma, it smells lovely, it smells really nice, um, yeah, I just, I just, the body and the aroma don't seem to mix up. Um, but I'm going to get stuck in and see how it goes. Cheers. Odd. <laughs> it's very strange. But I kind of like it. I kind of like it. It's sweet. It's spicy. No real bitterness to speak of in it. Light carbonation. Really light. It's only getting a bit of the uh, the wheat and the lactose on the flavour in the body, in the mouthfeel. I wouldn't say it's particularly thick, but it does have a slightly, it coats the palate. It doesn't hang around, but it coats the palate. Um, it's not gloopy or any, you know, thick at all. It goes down quite easily. That nice light carbonation really throws those, those sort of winter spices 
and subtle sweetness at you. It's quite floral on arrival, I'm getting for me. That's a sort of almost a slightly sort of honey, honeyed lemon, floral tone initially, and then. And then when that subtle carbonation dies down, it's all about the spice. Definitely has that sort of cinnamon, clovey, vanilla flavour, really takes over. Um, yeah, vanilla, spices, definitely. Natural flavour, wheat, lactose, yeah. I'm not sure what the, the natural flavours are meant to be, they don't specify anymore on them. Um, but this is quite pleasant. It's very different. You won't have had too many beers like this one before. It's got the lactose content. It has that wheaty vibe that gives it the body. Kind of like a blue moon sort of mouthfeel to it. But then you've got all that vanilla and all that winter spice going on with it. But it's quite sweet. Quite sweet. With a nice level of uh, winter spice. Yeah, I feel like I'm repeating myself. Now, there's not a lot going on with it. Um, it does... It does work. I think it does work. Um, you're better off drinking proper eggnog. This wouldn't be much of a substitution for it. Um, but it's pleasant. It's pleasant enough. If If you like eggnog, you might be quite interested to try this one. Obviously, it's a lot thinner. I feel like it's a bit sweeter. Because it's thinner, I feel like the sweetness really carries through on the flavour. Whereas eggnog, it's, the sweetness is slightly more subdued. I think it's more about the body with real eggnog. Um, but this isn't bad. This isn't bad. It has just enough winter spice to put you in the Christmassy mood. It's not bad at all. It's a decent effort from White Hag again. Um... Would I buy it again? Probably not. If if I see it in the stores next Christmas, I don't think I'll be rushing out to buy it. Um, but I'd certainly drink it again. You know, if if someone had it, and perhaps they would tell me and say, "I'm not a fan of this. Do you want that?" I'd be like, "Yeah, I'd probably I'd probably take it off their hands." I think it's decent enough. It's definitely drinkable. It's going down pretty sharpish. Um, won't be to everyone's taste this one, uh, but if you do like eggnog, it's definitely worth a go. Um, so the White Hag with their Noel Eggnog Christmas Ale, 6% ABV. Um, it does what it says on the tin, I suppose, but it's not an exceptional beer <laughs> by any stretch. Um, but for the time of year, it's it's passable. And because of that, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. I'm being generous. So a 7 out of 10 for the White Hag's Noel Eggnog Christmas Ale. Um, I picked this one up in my local beer store or bottle shop. Um, so, say so unless your local stocks it, you can get a takeaway. Um, yeah, you probably won't find that one. Or you could try the website, but you won't be getting it before Christmas now, I wouldn't have thought, because we're about five days away. Um, so yeah, so uh, 7 out of 10 for that. There you go, eggnog, Christmas ale, you don't get too many of those. Give the video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it, guys. Until my next one, you take care.